Hi, store owners. This is Ray, your friendly support of WholesalePlugin.com. And I'm here to show you a video on how you can get started using the Wholesale WooCommerce Wholesale Lead Capture plugin. So after activating the WooCommerce Wholesale Lead Capture, you should already or automatically create the three Wholesale Lead pages. So let's check our lead pages on the pages settings. Okay. On your site, you should see the Wholesale Login page the wholesale registration page and the wholesale registration thank you or wholesale thank you page. Each of these pages, especially the login and the registration page contains a default content. And let's check what the login, registration and thank you page looks like. Wholesale login page. Uh, what's important in this page is that it contains the short code WWLC login form. This short code will load the login form in the front end of your site. So what does it look like in the front end? Let's check it out. So this is how it looks like. Username, password, and the login. All right, let's go next. I'm going to close this now and let's go next to the page, wholesale registration page. What's important here is the short code, the WWLC underscore registration underscore form. This can be used to load the wholesale registration page. So how does it look like? Let's check it out. Here, the wholesale registration page. So as you can see, the forms are loaded and they can your customers can be able to register or your users or guests can register using the registration page. Lastly, let's visit the thank you page. Well, the thank you page doesn't contain any short code, so you just simply modify the content as you like to display, and uh, it will be the default redirection after the customer successfully registers from their wholesale registration form. So let's start checking general features and settings of the wholesale order form. To check it out, go to WooCommerce settings and click on the wholesale lead tab. You will see in the general page, the different settings of the wholesale lead capture. First is the pages, lead actions. Um, those are the two main parts of the general tab. Well, what basically these pages do is that you're able to set which one is the wholesale login. So in this example, I'm using the custom link and this link is where I want the wholesale login to be. So you can also select a page instead and click the wholesale login page. So here is the wholesale login, the wholesale registration, the wholesale thank you page, like mentioned earlier. Now, what is this login redirect? This login redirect is whenever a user logs in using the wholesale login form, they will be redirected to the link you added here. And that goes similar with the logout redirect that once a customer logs out, they will be redirected to a specific link or a specific page. Now the terms and conditions, you can also select page here. Now the lead actions. So the lead action is what happens when the customer successfully registers. So the new lead role is the wholesale customer. It means that the wholesale registration page will register wholesale customers. This will be the role that, will be, that the user will get when they get approved. And the approve, auto approve leads you can choose manual or automatic approval. Manual is the admin will manually approve the users by going to the users, all users, or by automatic approval that once the customer registers, they will be automatically get access to their site as a wholesale customer. Let's go next to the built-in fields. By default, there are built-in fields created on the wholesale lead capture plugin. You have the first name, last name, phone field, email field, username, company name field, address field, and password. So feel free to enable this based on your wholesale registration requirement. You can simply click here. For example, I want to add, let's say, by the way, uh, the fields, the first name, last name, email, are all automatically enabled. So the rest of the fields, you can enable them. Like for example, I want to enable the address field. Just click this add address field to the registration form. This one is if it's required or if not, uh, the customer can leave it as blank. So I want to make it required. Then this is the address to label and this is the field address field form order. So this is just the order of the field 
when displayed in the wholesale registration form. So if you want it to show at the top, it should be like one. And But since I don't want to put it at the top, I'll just set it as five. And if I'm going to set that five, let's set the order of the rest of the fields that are showing. The first name should be one, that should be two, the email field should be three. So the address field would be four. So let's save. So in case you didn't enable the password field, the customer will automatically get the password generated by the plugin. So let's check the wholesale registration page and it should display the address field. There you go. You can see the country here, address, city, state, postcode. Next, let's go to the custom fields. So it's pretty much common to add a customized field for the registration form. So with the wholesale lead capture plugin, you can easily add different types of field depending on your requirements. So let's say I want to set a, a yes or no question. For example, let's say wholesale question. Let's just add the field ID like wholesale. The field type, I want it to be a yes or no question, so I can use radio. So it, it depends on what kind of fields you want. So we have different types of fields that you can choose from. You can even add a file, upload a file, and let's choose radio option. So let's say yes and Uh, oh, um, I'll change field name instead of also a question. Let's add, do you want to be a wholesale customer? And I want to put it um, below the address field. I'll be required and enabled. And then let's add it. I've successfully added a custom field. Let's check it out. Hit refresh. Here, you can see that do you want to be able to a customer? And simply pick the yes or no based on the radio um, option that we've added earlier. So that's how you can add custom fields on your wholesale registration form. Next, let's go to the email settings. This is how you can control the email settings sent to the customers and the admin. You can add the display of how the email will be received by your customers at the admin recipient. There are the rest of the settings for email. And here you can use this template tags on customizing the content of your email. And uh, this one is for the admin notification. So there are different um, email format or email template that you can find in this setting. So you just have to edit the one that you need to edit. With the plugin, you can easily customize the emails. Let's go now to the security. Security is more about the reCAPTCHA. The reCAPTCHA that we currently support is the Google reCAPTCHA. So you just simply get your reCAPTCHA keys by clicking this link and enter the reCAPTCHA site key and secret key, and it should automatically add the recaptcha in the wholesale registration form. This is for added security to prevent spam bots. That's it for the basic rundown of the settings and the features of the wholesale lead capture. In case you need any other support related questions for the wholesale lead capture, you can drop down a question to our wholesale support form and we'll be happy to assist you. Thank you.